wanted a baby since I can remember. Um, I was one of those little girls where I would put the pillow under my, you know, dress or shirt and pretend to be pregnant. Tammy Tallarico has always dreamed of being a mother. She is thrilled to be eight months pregnant with her first child. I've always wanted a big family. My husband says three, but I'm like, mm, three to five. <laughs> Tammy's been dealing with many pregnancy-related symptoms, but says she felt sick yesterday for a different reason. She was disheartened to learn the Arizona Supreme Court ruled in favor of a Civil War era law that is a near total ban on abortion. First initial reaction was to call my husband at work and tell him, I'm like, we have to move out of state because that's, that's just my fear, you know, like I'm scared. I'm not just scared for myself, I'm scared for other women. Under the pre-statehood 1864 law, abortions are only allowed if the mother's life is in danger. There are no exceptions for rape or incest. The bottom line is it's, it's health care. Tammy tells me she had a miscarriage right after Roe v. Wade was overturned. And ever since, she's worried about a woman's right to choose being stripped away at the state level. I worry about, you know, what's going to happen if I get pregnant in a year or two? What's going to happen then? What if I miscarry? What if the baby dies in utero? What happens? Like all these just what ifs. I spoke with a doctor today who plans to continue performing abortions until the law takes effect in two months. At that time, she will consult with lawyers to see how to proceed and avoid going to jail. That provider says she sees patients all the time who have complications during pregnancy and need the procedure for a variety of reasons. In studio, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family. Michaela, thank